I, I will tell you, this is one of the biggest challenges that I've ever faced, not only in my personal life, but in my, in my patient care. Like, you know, how many times have I, you know, seen patients uh, and I, I know how important their choices are, the, the things that they need to do to, to get healthier. They know how important those choices are as well. Their life literally depends on them making different choices and yet how we all have a long history of failing at that. One of the best analogies that I've come across that explains this is the writer and the elephant. And it was prominent in the book called Switch, which is about you know changing behaviors. He described our minds uh, with an analogy of the writer and the elephant. So the writer is this the logical uh, person. They are very detail-oriented and focused. Uh, the elephant is the emotional side of this. And if you can get the writer and the elephant to both want to go the same way, then you, you, you know, you're, you're going to get there. But if the writer is saying, I want to go, you know, to Tucson and the elephant says, no, I want to go to Flagstaff, then you're just, uh, the, you're going to Flagstaff. Right. And so the writer could be up there saying, okay, well, logically, I know, I need to eat better. I, I know I need to exercise more. I know I need to drink less. I know I need to sleep better. Like all of those things, we know them. That's our writer part, but there's the emotional part, that, that elephant that we also have to get on the path that the writer wants to take as well. And uh, it, it, when you can combine those, then you have magic. And that's really what we're going to talk about today. It's a fascinating topic and, and one I really got interested in uh, for two reasons. One was that I was recognizing that I was doing, you know, everything I was trained to do to take care of my patients and help them get healthier. And so many of them were not getting healthier. They, they weren't, you know, the medications and the procedures and the tests weren't enough. I needed to be able to, to, you know, help them in other ways to achieve their health goals. And I didn't know how to do it. I, I was a, a typical doctor. I was, well, I told them what to do. And I told them that if they don't do it, they'll die. Like, what more can I do? You know? Um, and, uh, but also I started to recognize my own, as I got older, my own health issues, you know, and I had no idea what to do. I didn't, I, I, I was doing the same thing that we we all do, and we set ourselves up to fail. And we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about that. So you know, based on my own personal interest, but also how can I better serve my patients? I came to find out the way we do this in general fails, and yet there's a very simple. Uh, but a remarkably effective way to actually guarantee your own results. And that, that's what we'll talk about uh, today. Almost all of us have a, a, a you know, intention, a, a goal to be around as long as we can in as healthy a fashion as we can so that we can do the work that we want to do. We want to make those contributions we want to make. We want to be there for our loved ones. So how do we stop this cycle of, of, of continual fail, failure that ends up costing us healthy years and, and, and potentially even years at all? Well, it, let's first start with why people often fail at this. So these are the failed you know, health, weight, longevity strategies. Typically, we're trying to in, uh, start some temporary intervention, like most commonly, it's a calorie restriction, restrictive diet. It could be a uh, meal replacement. It could be uh, you know, joining a weight loss program that does the fat burning injections uh, combined with a 500 calorie uh, diet, which, which works right in the temporary uh, uh, phrase because we're or temporary uh, phase because we're so motivated and so desperate for a solution. We're willing to do anything. Like, you know, even if it seems kind of crazy in retrospect, like we're willing to do whatever it takes, but we're often picking things that we can't sustain. We can't stick with. And what happens over time is 
it gets hard. You know, it gets hard to stay uh, motivated. Uh, if you're, you know, you we're, we're relying on willpower at this point and willpower, we know this is an exhaustible resource. It just does not last for us. Uh, and, and so the other thing though, I think is even more <laughs> common that happens in this is people lose focus, you know, like they get that success and, uh, it, the pain isn't as great anymore because they've lost some weight because they uh, are feeling better and, they lose, it loses being top of mind anymore. Uh, so they're just not as focused on it and the, they start slipping. And then this kind of builds on itself and builds on itself. I mean, I've, I've heard this from so many people and myself as well. Like you, you lose weight and, and you're, uh, you know, you get you your goal or, you know, you're, you're making really good progress. And then uh, down the road you say, or you hear somebody else say, you know what? I'm not really eating that well anymore. Like, but my weight's still good. I, you know, I'm still doing the fine kiss of death. Like that's is you, you know, it's just time. Like whether it's two weeks or two months or whatever it is, they're back on the path to, to regaining that weight, which is so common. And, you know, when we feel deprived, if you have a strategy where you feel deprived or discouraged and you don't have support to get through those, those obstacles, those barriers that are going to come up it, it, you're just not going to be able to have success. And then that weight regain comes, but here's the, here's the interesting thing, human nature. We don't blame the system. We don't blame the, the, the diet or the, the strategy. We blame ourselves. We say, Oh, you know, it's on me. I, I, I didn't have the willpower to do it. I, I wasn't strong enough. I wasn't motivated enough. Uh, whatever it is, and we blame ourselves for that when, in fact, the strategy itself almost guaranteed that we weren't going to have success. Does that does that sound about right to you, Ron? Yeah, absolutely. And just to kind of build on the first thing you said, you know, calorie restricted diets, other temporary solutions, basically anything that has guidelines that are not personalized to you. There are bits and pieces of some diets that are insightful that work for some people and for some metabolisms, but can it can the general population and everyone who's struggling with, you know, uh, finding a solution and getting the results they want fit into one, like one size fits all diet that's going to solve everything? No, the, the answer is a tailored approach. So just to build on that, you know, anything in there that you're trying that has strict guidelines for a, a big population of people that's never looked at you and your unique needs is not going to work. It's going to make you feel deprived. Yeah, exactly. Th this is my analogy that I like to use is that, you know, when you use the wrong tool for the job, right? So yes, this is what perfect. we're doing. We're, we're using a screwdriver to pound a nail and then we're blaming the nail for not going where it's supposed to go when we didn't use the right tool in the first place. So how do we fix this? Let's get to the solution of this now. Here's what happens when you use the right tool. We call this creating your personalized, as Ryland had said, that's the a really key word in this, that it really is unique to you, but creating that personalized habit building system, because that's the goal. You're developing the habits that are going to support your health and longevity goals. This isn't temporary interventions. It's how do you put something in place so that you're doing what works for you and you're not even thinking about it anymore. And that's one of the more gratifying and common things we hear from clients and our patients is that oftentimes they'll have success and they'll say, you know what? It, it's actually been easy. Like, I, I don't even feel like I'm trying to do this. And it's because they're not battling that elephant anymore. They're not battling that willpower losing battle. Uh, they, 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 they have a system in place now to build habits that are serving them. And it just continues to build on itself. So here's the three parts to creating your personalized habit building system. Number one, you have to get a clear direction. Like where do you want to go? And then what are the exact daily steps to get there? And, and, and a part of that is tracking your progress. So I, I really think that how often this goes badly because people will say, oh, well, I want to lose weight. But that's not a clear direction, right? Like that, that's what do you mean? You know, you want to lose weight. Do you want to lose fat? Do you want to lose muscle? 
Uh, why do you want to do that? Or is it you're saying you want to lose weight when actually you want to get your blood pressure better or your uh, cholesterol better or your blood sugars better? Like getting a very clear direction and then, okay, what are the daily steps I need to do to get to that? That's what you're going to track. Like, and if you're not tracking, like we, we say this all the time in our, our program to our clients, if you're not tracking, you aren't going to have success. That That's, I, I can't state it any more clearly than that. People that track have success. People who don't do not. You agree there's with that, Rylan? Yeah. I mean, there's a direct correlation between people who track and the more they track and how successful they are. It, it's Amen. just a simple, you know, you're looking at what you're doing every day and reflecting on it. You're figuring out a lot about yourself along the way and, you know, where you want to go and how you're happy with the process and everything. You know, it's not a linear process. It's up and down, but tracking will get you to the end result. Shaping your unique path. So when you have the clear direction, you know every day, okay, here's the things that I want to start on. And you, you, you do this in the way that builds habits, right? We already know how this works is you start small, you build on, you know, you build that, that, that consistency, and then you start amplifying that as you go along. But so you have your clear path, you have the things that you're track or your, your clear direction, you have a, uh, a, 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 a clear idea of what you need to do every day. And then it's shaping your unique path. And that's where getting the support, the feedback, the accountability of somebody besides yourself. You know, uh, we all have blind spots. I, I have blind spots. Rylan has blind spots. We all have those blind spots, but we need that external view of things. And that could be a loved one potentially, or I, you know, in our case, an expert uh, who can show, tell you, okay, here's what you need to do. Here's where you're going to go. This is what you need to do to get there. And then this is how you're going to do it. Because as Ryland said, there's going to be ups and downs in this. We, we know that that's a fact. There's no other way around that. But when you don't have the support and the feedback and the accountability, those setbacks are death. They're, they're going to kill your, your, your progress to your goal. But when you have that support, feedback, and accountability, then the setbacks are actually fuel. Like that's where you get the, oh, okay, this doesn't work for me. So now I know not to do this. I need to go this direction. And so you build on the wins. Uh, you learn from the setbacks and then you adjust your plan accordingly. And again, this is your unique path. Like this is your personalized uh, uh, you know, path to achieving your health and longevity goals. Because if you're gonna try to achieve my health and longevity goals for you, then that's not going to work out. It really has to be you your unique path. It's not going to be some celebrity's path. It's not going to be, uh, you know, your sister-in-law's path. It's going to be yours. Uh, part three of this is the elephant that we've been talking about. And frankly, I didn't even plan on bringing up the elephant and then it ended up coming in anyways, but how important that is. And that's staying emotionally engaged, keeping that elephant motivated, moving towards the path you want to go towards and, and, and the ways, the effective ways to do that are measure your progress, like clearly see your successes. I, I don't know how many times people are making great success. Uh, well, I, I'll give a good example. We, we had a client uh, in the past who was really working hard, like doing a great job with their nutrition, their physical activity. They were strength training, all these things. And, uh, but they were discouraged because they hadn't lost much weight. Uh, the, the weight loss wasn't as impressive as uh, she was hoping for. But when she got a more advanced uh, body composition analysis, like looked at body fat and, and muscle mass, she realized that she had lost like, you know, nine pounds of fat and gained you know, uh, three pounds of muscle. So her six pounds of weight loss that she was discouraged by, she was able to look back and say, holy moly, nine, nine percent body weight, you know, reduction like that was amazing. And so the, just seeing her walk into the appointment kind of discouraged and a little like, oh, you know, I, I feel a lot better, but I'm just not losing weight. 
to walking out with their arms in the air, basically saying, this is the, you know, this is it for me. I, I think that's, that's a human nature thing. We say, oh, our goal is to lose 20 pounds and we get to 17 and, and, and we stall and we're discouraged by that. It's important to get that feedback to say, look, you're on the right path. Stay on this uh, because the results do uh, take a little bit of time. Um, and then the other one that we really emphasize in our program, and I encourage everybody to do this, is regularly remind yourself of your why. Like, why is this so emotionally important to me? What 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 is you know why is this important to my existence why is this important to my contribution the things that make me important in this world when you can get that regular reminder that that keeps you that keeps you on track like that 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 supports that elephant that emotional aspect that is so critically important to staying on the right path why is this non-negotiable to you? Uh, wrapping up a little bit, I just want to say this is what we do for people uh, in our HealthSpan program is that we focus on how can we give you that, uh, you know, where you are right now, uh, get the um, uh, exactly what you need to do to achieve your health and long weight and longevity goals. Uh, and then we uh, create a action plan that, identifies where you are right now, what are your best opportunities to do that, and then what are the science-based strategies for optimizing your health span, and then our, our, you know, our, our, our third part of this is showing you how to do it. That's implementing this three-part habit-building system to get you to the goals that you want to do. This is this is what we do and, and what we love to do. So if you're interested in this uh, or learning more about us, then I'd encourage you to schedule a strategy consultation with uh, Rylan. Uh, you get to talk to Rylan and she'll spend uh, you know some time with you just kind of identifying what's important to you, where do you want to go? And then if we can help you, we're, we'll be glad to tell you how we can, we can do that. Go to healthspanmd.com slash talk. And I'll also, I'll put the link in the con comments for you. We would love to talk to you. So we want to show you how much nice. more effective it is when you use <laughs> the right tool for the job, you know, how you can achieve things that you really thought were impossible before like i i don't know how many times we've seen this is people felt like they come in they're 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 just not that optimistic they they feel like gosh i've tried so many things how could this be different i i i i, I think it's me you know i'm the problem i don't know how you're gonna fix me uh but when they get this clear here's where you are here's why it's so important for you here's what you need to do and then the, the direction, that three-part habit building system that shows them how to do it, how that all puts it together. And it just, it's, it's, it works like magic and it's incredibly exciting when that happens. This information is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. Don't make any decisions about your medical treatment without first talking to your doctor. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about living a long, healthy life you love, click the link below to learn more about how we help people increase their health span. And if you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to hit the bell and subscribe.